Hello, everybody. Jason of New Age Revolution Cave. <clears throat> Why have I not been making dailies? Let's just start there. Um, I will return to them again. I'm just not into it right now. Um, there's too much stuff going on around here. I'm moving offices this weekend, which I am vlogging for you. Um, we'll talk about that. Much bigger space, so I need some more stuff to fill it up. I think I might bring even some of this stuff there. I don't know what yet, but I will. Um, you know, Liam's doing great. Liam is fine. Liam may as well not even have what I have, but it, it's still in my mind, and the experience is still in my mind of the hospital and getting him tested. And he is at the movies right now with his friends. And I'm worried about him because he was looking at the menu and he's like, oh, I want a hot dog. And of course he can eat that stuff. In my brain, he's going to have a problem with it. He won't. <clears throat> I haven't been feeling great. Um, I think stress contributes to this. So, you know, I've been feeling crappy. Um, but uh, we're do for, for a while now, for at least the next week or so, all we're going to do is remodel videos because... Um, I've made a mess down here and I need to uh, clean it up. So I can't really do anything else down here. I can't do an up all night necessarily unless we're remodeling all night. So we're going to remodel today. Um, as you can see, I've changed what I did over here. I took the Nintendo stuff down and I put, I'm moving my horror stuff over to behind the TV. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I have such a big space at my office, I can actually bring some stuff. And I think I might bring some stuff just to kind of get it into another space. Um, we'll see. We'll see what I bring. I don't know. I, <clears throat> I don't know. Today we're going to get the TV set up. We're going to get the Sega Genesis in. We're going to get the DVD player in. We're going to TV up against the wall. We're going to put another shelf here, bring some more horror stuff over, maybe even get a third shelf in behind the TV. I don't know. Then we have a bookshelf over here to pretty much take down and put away. Now I can't get the tripod back where it was. Um, take down and put away. And then, and then we're gonna um, add a wrestling shelf over there because I got a package from Mike D. And Mike D always sends the most insane stuff. So wait till you see what I got. And it's such a weird coincidence, two times. It's a double coincidence. It's a double coincidence. Um, when you see what I got from him. He sent me... When I when I was complaining about eBay, and upsetting a lot of people, apparently, um, I mentioned a Hacksaw Duggan foam board, foam 2x4, that was selling for like 60 bucks. Somebody had it listed for like 120. And then I, I told you a guy had it listed for $13,000. I was wrong. He has it listed for $39,500. It is still currently on eBay. Here's a picture. Um, wow. There's just a little hint to what I got from Mike D. Coincidence number two is I just ordered something along this line. I ordered something from this family just the other day because I thought it was such a great price. I actually I actually paid for something, folks, right? Like 70 bucks I paid. Wait till you see that. So now I want wrestling stuff. I want my shelf up over there. So anyway, let's sit around, pour yourself a glass of coffee, <laughs> pour yourself a glass of milk. Uh, you know, if you're not on the wagon, pour yourself a glass of wine and uh, sit back and relax. If you're going to sleep, good night. Say good night to the missus for me. And uh, let's just let's just do stuff, okay? We'll be right back. All right, uh, thing number one that I'm going to do is hook up the hook up the DVD player and the uh, the Sega to the TV. Um, God, I am I am like boxed in here. I got my stack of TV guides that go in here. I put the Atari and the Nintendo box down here. They're, they might stay here, actually, if we can... See what I'm doing in here? I'm moving... I'm moving shelves around, folks. I'm, I'm readjusting this because I'd like to keep the Nintendo and the Atari in here. You can't see it. They're down there. Nintendo, Atari. 
I'd like to keep them both in there. Um, so I want to move these shelves around because maybe I can keep them both. Oh no, no, I can't because I want to put the TV guides in. Uh, well, maybe I can put the TV guides somewhere else. We'll see. All right, so this is gonna go in here like so. But then we need another one. We need another one because we got to put, let's put the Sega in here first. Right, Sega, wait, you know what? I can get, I can get the DVD player and the Sega in here. Oh, I think, maybe. The DVD player is kind of big, though. Can I fit it? Can I fit it? Yes, I can. And then I can put another shelf for the TV guides. All right. That's good. But first, we got to get all this unplugged. And then we got to drill a hole through here. And I got to use an RF modulator. RF modulator. Um, cause I gotta, I, I don't, I don't like hooking it up to the front of the TV cause I have two AV thingies. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna punch through here. I should have brought my knife down. I don't have my knife down here. Um, I need my knife. I guess I gotta go up and get my knife. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm doing is cutting a hole in the back of this so that I can run the cords through. Very, very bootleg. I might have maybe put a nicer hole in there. All right, where's our stuff? Right here. Okay. Uh, Want to get a butt shot? Yeah, let's get a butt shot. Actually, poster on the back of here. All right. So my Sega stuff is through. I hate putting this one in because it like it has to line up perfectly, and I always get it wrong. Yep, I got it wrong. Yep, I got it wrong. Oh, I got it right. All right, that's in. Fish those back through so that they're not all clumpied. All right, that's good. Um, DVD player. I might need a second hole. Maybe not. Let's see if I can get all these in there. There we go. That's in. I don't know if, if this will go through, though. Uh, no. But I can push it because it's only cardboard. Come on, get in there. There we go. There we go. <laughs> those through. Here's our DVD player up there. I really love this uh, Philips DVD player. It's the one I had 
during all the tape trading days and it's such a good player <sighs> plays all the bootleg stuff plays discs that are scratched and and won't play on my 4k player <clears throat> all right that part's done so now we gotta now we gotta hook up to um i'm gonna raise you up a little bit because we gotta hook up to the modulator i'm i'm, I'm undoing the legs of the tripod is that good right here look at this wall for a minute There you go. All right. Oh boy. Okay. All right, so I gotta, I gotta go behind here and I gotta plug stuff in and I gotta plug in this. This needs to go, this needs to happen. Can you see my head? Oh yeah, you can see. All right, so all we're doing is uh, plugging in the Sega and plugging in the DVD player to the modulator and hopefully it all works. Because this TV, I don't like going in the front. I think it's ugly. All right, so let me plug some stuff in now. The TV's plugged in, I think. Yeah, the TV's plugged in. I'm plug in the DVD player. I'm plug in the Sega. And let's see if everything's going good. Sega's plugged in. Sega just turned on. Sega. DVD player plugged in, so let's turn off this. And let's switch it to the DVD player on the modulator. It is input two and input one. There we go. All right, modulator works. I'm happy about that. That's great. That's really great. That's great. Okay. So now I'm going to move the TV back to where it's going to go for display. Well, let's see. Let's see. I should probably get out of the way just for, well, leave it here. All right. I got an, I got another shelf to add into here so that I can get my other stuff in there, my TV guide and stuff. So let's, I'm going to take from here. Let me see where I can put you so you can see all. There's just no room in here. There's no room in here. That's why I have to get this done. Because I hate, I hate this disarray. So, I'm going to take these out. These little shelf thingies. And I'm going to put a new shelf in to this. Um, all right. So what I was wanting to do was I wanted to add another shelf like so. That's Well, that doesn't give me enough room to get the Sega stuff out. It's the Sega games. All right, so we'll raise it up. We'll raise it up one. these back in because I just want to put I just want to put some TV guides in there the Sega games I'll probably get a case for the Sega games to keep them out of the 
out of the TV. I'm taking up too much room. Okay. Can I still get the Sega out? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna put my TV guides in. You know what, I still need a rag. I thought I had a rag. I don't have a rag. I gotta dust a little as we go here. I'll be right back. Stay right where you are. All right, got a rag. Got a rag. And we're just gonna casually wipe it off here. I do have to clean the TV, like for real though. It did come out of, you know, somebody else's house. So we got my TV guides. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's good. These are not the, these are not the Saturday Night's Main Event TV guides. These are just regular TV guides. And I won't be getting any more of these. I'm only going to be going after the Saturday Night's Main Event ones. I only have a few left. So the Sega games, I don't know. I'll have to put them in. I don't like the loose. So what am I playing? I'm playing Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and NBA Live. We'll just... We'll just keep them there. No big deal. They don't need to be perfect. Uh, I have two controllers, so we really only need one out. So we'll put the second one tucked away. First one we'll plug in. And we'll just leave it gangled up in there like that. Okay, this we didn't need. Cool, that's done. That's done, with the exception of cleaning the TV. The TV is done. Um, so because, uh, sorry about that. So because of the couch positioning, um, wow, this is awful. That's awful. That's really crooked. Because of the couch positioning, I have to leave the TV kind of kitty-cornered like that. Um, but it, it should be fine. We're going to add another shelf to the horror wall. Let's do that with you. Are you getting a crooked picture? I think you are. Hold on. There. You're not crooked no mo. All right, I'm going to take down the G.I. Joe stuff. I know that saddens a lot of people. But... It's going to look weird with the, um, with the horror stuff up there. This is really brittle. Can you see me? Yeah. This is really brittle. Like, really brittle. Yeah, it's just ripping all over the place. Yeah. ho sticky crap of views here. I just, I, I, I love push pins. I don't know why we, I don't know why we use sticky back in this, in this house. All right, so these will just get put away, whatever. Oh, sticky tack. Those will just get put away. I hate ripping these down, but no. All right. This one was jammed up behind a shelf bracket. I got a ton of this stuff, so it doesn't matter. I have a ton of G.I. Joe packaging material. You know, the, the posters and have tons. Doubles, triples, quadruples. So don't freak out about us just tearing up something just now, okay? Calm down. Settle down. 
All right, this blue crap's gotta come off. And then you just take the, you take the one you just took off and you like, you rub it on there and the rest comes off. Sticky tack. When you don't wanna put holes in your wall, but when you wanna be extremely annoyed, you use sticky tack. All right. Okay. Got all the sticky tack. Um, let's put a shelf up. Where's my brackets? Everything's a mess. Where's my brackets? There they are. All right, I already cut these. Now we just have to see where they need to go. Might be good. Um, we're just gonna put my horror stuff up here, if I can fit it all. We might have to go down one. Yeah, we're definitely going down one. Look, I mean, some of you have said in the past, dump the horror stuff, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't look like 80s stuff. Will this work? Oh, come on. <sighs> I don't want to go down one more, because I got... Eh, I'm going to have to. People have said, you know, get rid of the horror, but honestly, I like it too much. I really, I like it too much. I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm not gonna. <laughs> I, pr I, I like the horror stuff. put Freddy in the background. Jason up front. Well, maybe we'll maybe we'll put him on either side so I can see him. Right? Because that's the whole point of this. That's the whole point of having stuff, isn't it? Is to see your stuff. Um, yeah, it's going to take up a lot of room. Hang on, let me try to get the little stuff in here first. A head knocker. Yeah, I just I, I love this. I love I love Friday the thirteenth. And so this stuff's important. So I don't want to get rid of it. I mean as far as get rid of it, you know, put it away or make it less less of a focus. And I, I don't want to. And I think it'll look cool behind the TV. And there's a lot. I got my Crystal Lake water. I mean, how can you not have that out? You know, I got my mad balls. I got another one somewhere. Probably fell. Yeah, it did. You know, and and some of this stuff. Let's see. Some of this stuff might not even. Like, I still want to bring a few things to my office. Um, and I could see some. I, I don't want to bring like too much horror stuff to my office. I don't think it's too comforting. You know, you can't really have that in a mental health therapy office. People might lose it a little bit on you. Uh, 
I don't think this will fit. It won't. Oh, it might. Oh, it does. The dock. You know what we're going to do? First of all, I, come on. First of all, we got to put a tall figure in the back. Fred needs to go in the back because he's tall. And these NECA figures, especially the, the Nightmare on Elm Street ones, the, the hats never stay on. Like, they don't actually fit. They're not, like, sculpted to his head. They're just... See, he's going to fall. They're just... Um... Yeah, i got to set him up there. So I don't have a flat TV now, so I can't... I can't use the ledge of the TV. Yeah, he's not... He's not legged properly. There. No, he's still gonna fall. Come on. Okay. Yeah, the hats just kind of sit on his head. They don't actually like sit securely. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have any room for anything else. I guess I could get a mad ball in there. No, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save those because I'm gonna I'm gonna come one more because I've got um, I've got uh, little figures. So we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna push this back, and that's as far as it goes back because it's got a it's got a huge back on it. And I don't want it to rub up against the wall. So that's good. So when I watch it, you can't really see. When I watch the TV, um, I'll angle it out if I have to. But So this is going to allow me one more shelf right about here for the Tales from the Crypt figures, these little mad balls. So this will kind of be part of the horror section. It's going to be, it's going to be tight. So let's do the wrestling. Let's do the wrestling shelf. And, um, and then I've got to, uh, probably going to bring that bookshelf to my office. And I'm probably going to bring some toys to my office. I think I'm going to. I think I should. I think I'm going to. Because this is going to be one bracket system. One bracket system for the remaining stuff. And it's got to be Ghostbusters. It's got to be tur Turtles. The American Gladiator stuff I'm going to put either in my office or in storage. So some of my bigger boxed stuff is either going to go along this floor and it can really only fit two or three items or it's going to go to my office. And I think I, I, I forgot what my office looked like. And now that I was just there a couple hours ago, I got a nice little nook that's that's out of the way of, of the practice space. It's out of the way. And I'll just put a bookshelf in there and I'll put some toys there and it'll just be storage. So, and it's safe. It's locked. It's all good. That's what I'm going to do. So let's, um, hmm, what should we do? I think we're going to do the Dallas stuff. I think. Um, all right, I'll be right back. All right. We got such a huge mess here. But we're going to add another shelf to this bottom section. Uh, because I want to put, I want to put the Dallas stuff in. So, we're putting up another shelf. Lovely. Let's see. 
Let's see, I got a lot of Dallas stuff. But I want to save room. All right. There's so much. There's so much. I got this big board game that needs to go in. There we go. And I kind of wanted to... Yeah, that, that, I don't like that. That's not going to look good. Um, I'm going to go down further. I have to go down further. Because I'd like this to be standing up. So how low can we go? How low do we need to go? Can we go this low? Oh no. <laughs> Close. That means this has to move. Sorry, Pee Wee. I think you're going, I think you're going to the office anyway. I think Pee Wee's going to the office. And there's still a little room underneath for um, stuffed animals. I need to get stuffed animals away. Is there a problem? Oh, come on. Yeah, you're going in regardless. All right, that's in. Got another one. That's in. And now we start putting the little stuff in. Ba boom. Let's put a little JR in there. The JR Amigo figures. I mean, they could actually stay in. But they look better sitting. Um, JR's got a hat. One of them does. sorts of fun little Dallas stuff. Love Dallas. You guys know that. I got two flip out games, which I don't need to. Um, my J.R. Ewing beer can. Real beer. This was really, was really a thing. Got a couple of books. They can go on the end here. glasses just little trinkets little fun stuff I've gotten for Christmas over the years for Dallas stickers card games all sorts of fun stuff stickers that fall down there we go uh, what else we got we got playing cards we got a calculator for the game we got collector's cards that I don't really keep out. I kind of just, uh, where do I put these? Collector's cards. I guess, but no, that's not going to work. Yeah, the collector's cards, I don't really, you could probably put them in this game. These things. You can't really display them. All right, they're away. That's fine. I got a Dallas album. Uh, I don't think it's the Making Up for Lost Times, Crystal Gale, and Gary Morris. I have no idea what this is. It's the Dallas album, obviously. But it's not like the theme song to Dallas. It's just like Crystal Gale is a country singer. So she just made a song. <laughs> J.R. Ewing belt buckle, which is pretty awesome. Um, this is a Christmas ornament, a South Fork Christmas ornament. I just leave it in the box. Whatever. That's cool. I got this South Fork bandana type of thing, like a flag, which is pretty cool. And then like cigar bands, I don't know. I don't know. I 
at one point the children's mother was just loading me up with Dallas stuff. At one point. All right, this has to lean a lot or else the box is gonna come open. Stickers. Okay. Dallas shelf is done. The J.R. Ewing decanter box I will put in storage because the I actually have it over there. The whiskey decanter of J.R. Ewing came in a box. Pretty awesome. All right, so that's done. So now, now, you know what? Should Pee Wee go to my office? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Pee Wee stays right here. Because now I got a lot of room under here for stuffies. Because they're everywhere. We've got my buddy. Oh, this is so good that these guys can go away. We got my Bear Ruth. That is good. The fact that I've got all this room under here now for my Cabbage Patch towels is good. This is good. Yes, sir. As my man Stephen Brown would say. All right, that's good. I could probably even get... I can get a couple more in there. Once once Pee-wee goes to my office, which I think he's gonna, I got room for more stuffed animals. Let me get... Because I don't like them on the couch, honestly, because when I sit on the couch, I just have to move them anyway. Hang on a sec. You're putting me under the shelf, are you kidding me? Nope, I'm not kidding you. You're going. There you go. All right. Believe it or not, I'm very happy with that because, uh, because the stuffed animals were everywhere. I've even got a little pound puppy that can sit with the Cabbage Patch dolls or sit on the so on my buddy lap. There we go. That'll be fine. That takes up that 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 moves a lot of stuff out of the way. That's good. I'm happy about that. Move Pee Wee over a little bit. Actually, he can't move. He's right up. All right. Yeah, that's good. To be able to move those guys out of the way, and we'll do the same thing over here with the floor room too. Um. All right. Let's uh. Let's do the wrestling stuff. Let's do, let's add another wrestling shelf. Because the next thing I have to do is I have to take down this bookshelf that had the horror stuff on it. And I have to get that into my office. That's going to go to my office. Um, yeah. That's got to go to my office. So that I can, uh, that I can put some stuff on it. And then... Next week or something, we'll get two more brackets, more hooks, and we'll put up our final bracket system and move over the Ghostbusters stuff, move over the Turtles. I'm going to take the American Gladiators to my office. I actually thought for a minute I was going to box up the Ghostbusters and put them in storage. I'm not selling them, but uh, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. They're just, I, I don't need to do that. They're just good. They're too good. They're too good. You know, the Chuck Norris, the Rambo, whatever. But the Ghostbuster stuff, it's too good. We just watched, Liam and I, Finley tried to watch it, but he got scared. But Liam and I just watched first Ghostbusters the other night in preparation for the new one. And it just, it was, it was nice. It's just, it's just good. So I don't want to, I'm not going to get rid of the Ghostbusters. But we're doing okay we're doing okay let's uh hmm 
All right, I wanted to leave some space for the uh, for the floor stuff, but then I also wanted to leave a gap in the middle for more stuff. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it like it is. So all I'm gonna put down here are the magazines, TV guides, uh, the VHS tape, you know, whatever's left over. Um, I really want these arcade toppers displayed. So there's a lot of magazines. I don't know how. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. I don't, I don't know how to, how we're going to display magazines. I really don't. Um, cause there's going to be a lot as time goes on. There's going to be a lot. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. Um, what are we going to do with magazines? What should we do? How should we display magazines? I mean, I got my TV guides. The Saturday Night's Main Event TV guides. And those are going to continue to grow. Those are really high, though. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want just this whole shelf just to be magazines and stuff. Hmm. Mania Challenge is going to have to go, like, somehow on the wall like that. That's not going to be a prime spot. The belt's going to get hung on the wall. This is getting hung. I, I, I got a belt hanger. It's going to go over there. <clears throat> what should we do? I've got the muscle figures. muscle figures here so they go in like this awesome cup not the WWF ones this is pretty cool I like this I like the muscle figures a lot I like them a lot we got the Hulk Hogan binoculars. I mean, these can go anywhere. Those can actually go up there. We got the VHS tapes that I'm not. I'm not going to collect these. I just. I'm not going to collect Coliseum home video. There's just so many. We got Micro League Championship Wrestling games that can go. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to keep them, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like I should keep them because I'm not going to buy any more. I'm not going to buy any more and I don't know, put them behind here. I don't want anything behind it. Yeah, see, I don't like that. I guess it's not so bad. I guess that's all right. And we got these. But again, I don't. There we go. That's not bad. You can still get another shelf in the middle. Um, I got another. I got another cup. And they don't fit anywhere. I got one more cup and it doesn't fit there. Hmm. I don't want to just put a random cup there. I don't know. This looks silly if I double them. That's fine. It's going to stay like that. Whatever. So now I'm knocking over galoobs. So somebody, somebody watched a video. Somebody watched a video on, on the, uh, on the WCW Gloob figures, and um, not not a regular part of the channel, just some some dope who 
who found the channel and watched the Galoob videos. And, he, and his comment was, can you stop saying the word Galoob? And I'm like, dude, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, how big, how big of a, of a tool are you that you, that you have to leave, you know, sarcastic random comments on eBay, on YouTube videos. You just, you, you make yourself sound like an idiot. I don't know what to do with the magazines. I think they'll, ju I, I, I think they'll go in like a, like a crate. I think I'm going to put, I think they're going to go in a crate and they're going to go over there and go underneath. That'll work. Yeah, we'll do them in a crate. So those will just get put to the side right now. Um, my bulldogs. I mean, I'm going to put them up here somehow with the bulldogs. There's my British Bulldogs up there. Take a look. Take a look. I just put them up there. Right? That's good. All right. So there's there's the wrestling shelf. Don't worry. This is going to get filled. I'll put another shelf in there and just put some smaller stuff in there. Um, or maybe I'll move everything up. Maybe I'll move everything up. Maybe that that just looks silly. I don't know. I don't know, because we have a couple of pretty cool things to fill in this section. Uh, two things that came today from my friend Mike D. And I got to show you those now. I have to show you those now in a separate video. They deserve a separate video. All right, so maybe tomorrow... I'll go get a couple more brackets and his um, his stuff will go in there because I got something else coming that I'm really excited about. Yeah, we'll leave that spot open for now because there's there's going to be something in it tomorrow. All right. Oh, one last thing. Let's hang up the um, the cat the um, the uh, calendars that Larry Blitzer sent me. And I do believe that is his real name, Larry Blitzer. Let's hang those up. I'm not going to open them. Because it's not 1997 or 1987. Like it should be, but it's not. So we're just going to hang them here. Yeah, we'll just hang them there. And they're going to get moved because this... This, I bought a belt hanger, and this is going to go right here, like that. It'll get tucked down there like that, so that's going to go there. All right, so those calendars can stay there, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, there's another belt that I'm looking at on eBay. So from Pakistan now, Pakistan apparently is the... Uh, I keep my push pins in here. Pakistan is apparently the belt making capital of the world now. And they're super cheap, like in price, and I think a little bit in quality. But I'm cool with that. This has to come down. Too. This is going to get moved over there. Um, I'm cool with it being cheap quality because I'm not a belt guy and I don't care. Oh, come on, get in there. This has to go through like 12 pages of paper. Um, there we go. I'm not a belt guy. I don't care about belts. There are belt guys who care a lot about belts. That's good. Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> um, there are belt collectors who are like insane when it comes to belts. Like you don't buy cheap belts. You buy 
$2,000, $3,000, $4,000, you know, ring-worn belts. And that's great, man. You got your thing, you know, do your thing. But I don't, I don't care like that. So this belt that I think I want, it's $109. Again, super cheap from Pakistan. But it is my favorite belt. One of my top three favorite belts, I'd say. I might get it. Might. But I just spent 70 bucks. All right, let's go look at what Mike D sent us. I need another cat. Wait, I have a calendar. I have the 85 calendar. Where's that? Where's that? Right here. Boom. We hang up another one. Do I have another? not have another push pin, but I might. Hang on. I thought I put one on the table. Maybe not. Come on, just one more little push pin. Anyway, push pin. Come on, push pin. Come on, push pin. Where could you be? Ugh, I can't find it anymore. No more push pins. All right, well, I need one more. Put the uh, 84 calendar up. We'll do that. All right. That's all I can do today. I don't have... Uh, I don't have any, any more supplies. Um, we did the horror stuff, kind of. We did the TV, set the TV up, happy with that. I can't do anything down here until this is done. I can't watch TV down here, it's a mess. Can't do it, can't do it. So we'll, uh, we'll get this work done. Let me do a video about Mike D right now. Thanks for watching, good night, now.